In this section, we're going to back up our database using the MyPHPAdmin uh, utility. Uh, most uh, hosting accounts uh, out there are, have this available, and um, you can uh, very, very easily uh, use this to back up your database. Uh, first thing is first, you would uh, just log into your server. On the left-hand side, you're going to pick uh, the database. Uh, in which case this mine is called uh, the onlearningpoint.com um, database. Uh, let's give that a moment for it to load. Um, you can also uh, do a restore and so if you're looking to restore your database um, this would be the, the right section for it as well. Um, Seems like there was a quite a few jobs uh, running in the background. It took it a little while for it to come up, uh, and I had to pause the video. Um, so the easiest area to go to is just go to the export tab that's right here. Uh, make sure that all of these guys are selected. Uh, this guy, uh, SQL, uh, he's automatically selected. Uh, so the only thing that you really need to check is this uh, drop table uh, event. Uh, this is in the event that you would need to do a restore, that it would issue the drop event, so you don't actually need to go through and drop uh, the entire database before restoring it. Um, just saves you a step later on, if, should you need to. Um, you can uh, save the file as uh, the database name is fine. Uh, the defaults are just fine. Um, I usually choose the, uh, the zipped format because it's going to save a lot of space. Most of the file is actually going to be uh, just space in there uh, and this will uh, zip it down and then just press the go button. Um, this will run all the, the proper commands that you need to in order to uh, zip that file. Uh, once it's uh, done running it will uh, give you a uh, zip file for you to download. Um, good place to store that zip file would probably be uh, not only on your server but also on your local machine um, making sure that you specify that it's a uh, 2.2 um, uh, save file. Um, I'm just going to save mine uh, right here. Uh, this looks like a good spot to uh, to keep it. Um, once that's completed, uh, if we refer back to our, our upgrade guide, um, we can see that there's a few other ways that you could have upgraded. Um, but um, now the next thing, the next step would be to, to go to site uh, settings, site administration, and notifications. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, there is a few other steps in between, uh, and we're just going to go to our website right here. Uh, the first step is going to be that it's going to ask us to upgrade the, uh, the database uh, from uh, 2.2 here to 2.3. Um, it asks us to log in, which is a little strange. I don't remember seeing that before. Uh, you probably don't need to log in uh, at this stage. Um, so uh, just press the continue button um, and uh, you should feel comfortable in doing so as long as you've created a backups. Um, you could always uh, roll back should you need to. Uh, this is going to check to see what versions of the plugins uh, and what needs to be done at, at what point. Uh, I'm all clear here so we're just going to click on the continue button uh, should you run into problems here, that you would just click on the actual individual error and figure out uh, why it's uh, giving you that problem. Uh, you can see here uh, that this page is going to be uh, looking for uh, plugins. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why this button is here, uh, but I press it and uh, I guess it just goes in and, and does a recheck. Um, Pressing it didn't seem to make a difference when I looked at this uh, before, uh, but it's just going to show uh, what what versions are going to be um, install, installed here or upgraded. Um, there is a few items that I did want to point out to you here. Uh, let's see. I had a few failures in here. Uh, it didn't seem to make a difference. It was uh, seemed like it was just an old plugin that was no longer being used. I don't uh, see those at this point. Um, so at the very bottom, just press uh, Upgrade Moodle Database Now, and uh, 
all the little hamsters are going to start churning away and updating uh, the database. Uh, in the background, it's, it's probably running a very long PHP script, which is uh, issuing a lot of SQL statements. Um, uh, if you have a very large site, uh, this is an area where you may run into some problems. Uh, the scripts, uh, the PHP scripts, are only allowed to run for so long uh, before they get killed on the server. Uh, and this is sometimes an environmental setting that's set uh, by the server admins. Depending on what type of hosting account, uh, they may set that uh, value down even lower uh, in order to provide uh, better stability on the server. Um, usually, if you have a, a script that runs much over a minute, uh, it'll typically mean that there's something wrong with the script and uh, that it's gone gone wild and uh, is no longer responding to to human controls. And so, for that reason, that's normally why they they do delete the process that's associated with it. Um, that causes big problems. Um, what you might want to try to do uh, is to run it on a non-peak time. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm running it towards the evening. Uh, there's probably a lot of people that are logging onto the server right now and using it. Um, and so for that reason, um, even though you may not successfully go through an upgrade uh, during, during a peak uh, load period of time, um, when you go in through a non-peak uh, load time, you might be able to um, be able to successfully upgrade it, even with a large database. So I'm just going to let this run. Uh, this may run for maybe even another uh, minute on my server here. If you do suspect that uh, your server is running uh, at a very heavy load, uh, one way you could do one thing you can do is go in and verify that by going back into the onto the command line. You can issue just a uh, top command. Uh, this will show your only your processes typically, uh, depending on how the server is is configured. Uh, if you're obviously if you're the uh, super user uh, on there, uh, or if you're already root, then maybe it'll show you all the um, all the processes. But uh, either way, it shows you uh, how long the server has been running. Um, how many users are currently on the server. Now this is only going to show your, in this case it only shows my users because I own uh, my own process is the way they have this configured. Uh, they have this fig configured very very securely where I can't see any uh, other users uh, and then it shows the uh, how much of a load that I'm actually uh, creating on the system. Uh, 3.6 uh, is a very very high load. Anything over 1 um, indicates that uh, the uh, processor has a has a, a lot of uh, items in the queue. Uh, the first number here is the um, I believe it's the 30 second, uh, and then it's one minute, and then it's uh, I believe five minutes. Uh, don't quote me exactly on that, but you can see that I do have a, a high load on the system, and so for that reason, um, the, uh, the the script is going to run uh, for a while. Uh, the other reason the script, um, the load is so high, and you can see it's actually increasing here, is uh, as the database is actually being upgraded, these commands are running, 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 running. Uh, this is putting a heavy load on the server. Uh, I believe this will show you the total amount of uh, CPU right here. Um, and so the entire server is not, uh, looks like it's not maxed out. Um, but uh, it does seem to be um, seems to be running at a, at a decent clip. Uh, if you see numbers that are consistently above the 80% range, uh, then you know that you got a real big problem. Uh, a server running at 80% uh, is basically going to be maxed out. Um, any peaks that come through will get ended up getting put into queue, and uh, That'll cause um, just like a, a backup on a on a highway causes a backup on the server. So this is a uh, bad sign here. You can see this DDL uh, SQL execution error. Um, it looks like it's complaining that uh, this table MDL underscore sign already exists. I think what happened was I had uh, upgraded the server uh, once before, and so it's uh, having a problem. Uh, with this particular table. 
Um, I did find a uh, article on there where it looks like there's a, uh, a bogus value perhaps somewhere. Uh, but either way, what I'm going to do here um, is I'm going to uh, roll back to my previous instance and then uh, retry to install. So if you run into a situation like this where you actually need to restore, uh, let me show you how to restore your database. You, uh, you would go into the PHP My Admin, click on the Import, uh, click on the, uh, the Browse button. Well, after looking at this uh, error just a little more closely, uh, I think the error that it's having is that this uh, assign um, table already exists. So one one option that we could do is we could try to delete this table and uh, see if we could re-execute this script. Uh, so let's give that a shot. Uh, sometimes in, in situations like this, this is where things really start going off the rails. Uh, and that backup uh, becomes so important. So back in PHP My Admin, uh, we're going to go to the MDL assign table. Uh, one thing what we'll do here is we're going to uh, drop it and uh, just delete this table right here. Drop table uh, assign. Press go. Yes, uh, and that's going to delete that table. Uh, now we do have our database in a fairly inconsistent state, so let's uh, click on continue here and see what see what we get. Uh, it should cycle back in and try to reinstall that. Yep, it sure did. Um, I hope that's what it did. Um, I'll probably need to do a little more research to figure out uh, if it actually uh, went through the database script and uh, retried that command or if it just continued on and uh, just ignored that error. I have a feeling that it just uh, continued on and ignored that error. Um, anyway, so I'm glad you were able to join me for this installation. As uh, you can tell, even though you may be an experienced uh, IT person, sometimes you still run into some uh, small uh, rocky type issues uh, where things are not quite as um, as uh, smooth as you would want them to be. Uh, probably the proper thing to do at this point would be to uh, do a restore of the database uh, and then re-execute that command and, and see if um, you can if you can get it to uh, upgrade the database completely cleanly. Um, also, I, I'm not really sure what that uh, this MDL assign table does. Uh, it does sound important for when you assign uh, training. Uh, so that may be another uh, consideration. So thank you for uh, watching my upgrade guide. Uh, this was my first one, and uh, and as you saw, it was a little rocky. Um, so thanks for watching.